So this is what we'll be making in Unreal Engine today. We'll see how to retarget animations from Mixamo to Unreal Engine characters or a different skeleton. I have opened Mixamo and selected a character. Let's select some animations. So let's look for dance animations. And let's use this one. We can download it. I have already downloaded it with skin. And uh, this is the FPS that I used. Let's also download a different animation. Let's use this one. And uh, for this animation, we will download it without skin. So we will download only the animation. I have already downloaded it. So you can download it. And once you have the animations, let's create a project in Unreal Engine. So from games, I will select the third person template and create the project. So now we can import these animations inside Unreal Engine. Let's create a new folder. We'll call it animations. And we can drag and drop the animations that we created in order to import them. So first we should import the animation that has the skin. So it will be this one. We need to check import animations and we can import the animations. It might give some warning, but for me it was still working. And let's also import this animation without skin. So now if you wanted to use these animations like any other animations in Unreal Engine, we could do that. We could just drag and drop them in our level for testing. And it should work. So let's see if it works. So yeah, normally we can use them like any other animations in our engine. But if we want to use these animations on a different skeleton or a different skeletal mesh, then we need to retarget these animations for that skeleton. So Unreal Engine has a new IK retargeter. Let's see how it works. So under animation, we can create an IK rig. It will ask which skeletal mesh that we want to use and uh, we will select this one. We'll call it Mixamo IK rig. Let's open it. Now inside here, we need to retarget the root bone. So here we will select this one. So we will select hips and we will say set retarget root. After doing that, we also need to make chain mappings. So we need to make chain mappings for different bones of our skeleton. Let's do that. So first we will make a chain for spine. We'll call it spine. We don't need to add a goal. And it will be from spine to head. Let's also create chain for arms. So it will be from left shoulder to left hand. This will be for right arm. It will be from right shoulder to right hand. This will be for uh, left leg. And it will be from left up leg to left foot. This will be for right leg. And it will be from 
right up leg to right foot. So we have created these chains and uh, let's create uh, the same for a uh, different skeleton for the different skeleton that we'll be using. So we will create a new IK rig. So under animations, we can select an IK rig. And this time we need to choose a skeleton that we will target. So that will be will be using the animation zone. I will select this one. We'll call it Queen IK rig. Here also we need to do the same. But here for the root root bone we will select pelvis so we will say set rate target root we will select pelvis and say set rate target root and here also we can create the, these different bones so first we will create a chain for spine and we'll start from spine 01 and the end one will be head we will also make one for left arm so this will be from clavicle l to hand l we'll do the same for right arm this will be from clavicle r to hand r We'll also make one for left leg. And this will be from high L to foot L. We'll do the same for right leg. And this will be from thigh R. to foot R. So make sure that you have set the retarget root to pelvis and here the retarget root is set to hips and we have named all of these chains similarly so they should be exactly the same. And uh, let's also create a retargeter for this now. So under animations, I carry it, we can say Let's create IK retargeter. We need to choose the rig that we want to copy the animations from. So we want to copy the animations from Mixamo IK rig. We will select that. We will open it. And now we need to add the rig that we want to target. So it will be the one that you made for Quinn. And uh, let's increase the distance between them a bit. So now we can notice that our characters are in different poses. One is in A pose and one is in T pose. We need to make sure that our characters are in the same pose. So let's fix it. We need to enter the edit mode and let's rotate these bones a little bit. So for upper arm L, we will rotate it. We can rotate it by 60 degrees. And we will do the same for right one. Now, sometimes it does not focus here. So, what we can do is we can click here and drag a little bit. Then we should be able to focus on this uh, tool. So, we should be able to rotate these now. And let's also rotate this one. Let's rotate it by 20 degrees and let's also rotate this one by 20 degrees again. This one looks good. So now we can see that uh, these animations would work on both. So we can export these animations now.
and we can use the exported animations like any other animations in Unreal Engine. So let's see if it works. So we can see how easily we can retarget animations in Unreal Engine 5. And one more thing you need to make sure is that you should also retarget uh, fingers. So I have not retargeted fingers because I wanted to keep this tutorial short. But for the best quality, you should also make chains for all of these fingers. So for example, you can make chains for all of these fingers and here also you need, you need to retarget these fingers once you do that. So just like we have made these chains for arms, legs, we can make these chains for different fingers as well. So you'd be making like uh, 10 more chains for 10 fingers of the hand. And here also you'll be making like 10 more chains for 10 fingers of the hands and then it will look amazing. The process will be same like we did for the hands and legs. So let me know what you think. Feel free to comment and uh, let me know if you would like uh, a particular tutorial on a particular topic in Unreal Engine 5. Thank you.